Some Pokemon are so cool and powerful that you just need to have them on your team. But what if that Pokemon requires you to have a friend to trade with in order to evolve it like Gengar? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered in this video so you can get Gengar for yourself solo without having to rely on another person. I've always loved Gengar. He's an OG from the original Gen 1, and I do think he looks pretty cool as well. But he's also an incredibly powerful special attacker, so he's probably a must-have for your team if you like ghost-type Pokemon. I do wish his shiny form was better though. So if you do find this video helpful, definitely click like down below and subscribe because we have so many Pokemon guys on the channel you don't want to miss out on. So the very first thing that you're going to need to know in order to get Gengar for yourself is that you need to catch a Pinsir Chin, as this is going to be vital and required to get Haunter, which will then evolve into Gengar. Pinsir Chin isn't a particularly special Pokemon in of itself, but we will need it for this trade. The great thing is, Pinsir Chin is very easy to find in pretty much all of the beaches around the map. The most easy one that I recommend you do is to go to Lavincia, which is where we need to be anyway, and check the beach that's just right next to it. The very first time I went there, it was spawned there for me. But if you are struggling, there's another area that you can go to to the southeast of the map, near the swamp that you can see on the screen now. But if you can go to Lavincia, just go over to the beach like I did, and maybe get lucky, and then catch this for yourself. I love using my Scyther to catch Pokemon because it has false swipe that always leaves them with 1 HP left, so I can always capture them at red health with an increased capture chance. Once you've grabbed this guy for yourself though, you then want to run back to Lavincia. Follow the route that I take onto this walkway in this middle section that's surrounded by water. Here you will find an NPC that wants to trade with you. Since you now already have the Pinsir Chin, you can go ahead and do this trade immediately. They're going to trade you a Haunter, and of course because Haunter evolves into Gengar when trading, after the trade is complete, it's going to evolve and you're going to have Gengar all for yourself without having to rely on another person. Of course, in previous generations, you needed another player to trade with. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, they added the Link Cable that allowed you to do it yourself if you found enough points to buy it for yourself. I think having an NPC trader is a fantastic way to add Gengar into the game, which means more people can enjoy him as a Pokemon if they don't have friends to trade with. So personally, I think it's absolutely fantastic that you can get Gengar for yourself with this method without relying on another player. I really hope this helps you guys fill out your Pokedexes even easier. So if you did follow this guide to get Gengar for yourself, definitely click like and subscribe down below and tell us in the comments what other Pokemon you're looking to catch next. And the two videos on screen now we think you're going to really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you found this guide helpful, you're probably going to find these helpful too. And then make sure to tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.